Today's lesson I think is kind of fun because we're talking about the associative property and we know that we did that with addition. The associative property, um, this time we're going to be talking about multiplication. We know commutative property, order doesn't matter. The associative property is where we grouped numbers using parentheses. Now the distributive property also uses parentheses. But what you want to remember is with the associative property, it does not matter how you group the numbers. Let me give you an example with multiplication. Now that we've multiplied um, with three factors, we've got three times two times five. I could group three times two and get six. Six times five equals 30. Sure, that's one way to group the numbers. There's another way to group the numbers. I could go three times, this time let me group two and five. We know because, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses go first, two times five is 10. Can you guys see that low? Yep, we're still good. Okay, three times 10 equals 30. Did it matter how we grouped? No, the answer was 30. There's actually another way that we could group. We could group the three and the five. So I could have three times five times two. Three times, <laughs> three times five is 15. 15 times two, guess what that equals? 30. This one, the associative property means it does not matter how you group. It's true with addition and it's true with multiplication. I'm going to have you practice grouping numbers in your rotation.